Hey, my name is Gail Reynolds, and my title is Assistant Professor uh, in the English as a Second Language Department. I began in 1991 uh, as a full-time uh, faculty member here, and I'll be happily, but also sadly, retiring yeah, at the end of spring after 25 years at City College. And I have to preface this, I had just finished training Peace Corps volunteers in Poland. And uh, that summer, I, I found out when I, uh, four days after I arrived to Poland, I got a, a, a telex um, that I needed to come to uh, Warsaw um, to make a phone call to say I accepted my job at Santa Barbara City College. And I was out in a little area in Poland and I said, oh my God, I got all oh, the time changes. What is, I have 24 hours, I have to accept this job that I, that I, I can't believe I've got a tenure track position to come back to in Santa Barbara City College. So I, I finished my training, I got on an airplane, I left uh, Warsaw probably on a Saturday night, arrived home in Pasadena, California on a Sunday and I had to be here Monday morning to start um, faculty in service. Dr. McDougall um, invited each new faculty member to dine with him in the gourmet dining room. I thought, oh my goodness, this is amazing that the college president would put so much energy into um, making a new, newly hired faculty person feel special. My first memories were, gosh, I've died and gone to heaven because I had been an inner city high school teacher in Los Angeles in what they call the combat pay high school um, because we had drive-by shootings and very dangerous area of, of, of LA. I had worked in um, Southeast Asian refugee camps for three years from 1980 to 83. So I always feel like I'm in uh, the United Nations in my classroom, I often have like many United Nations. I don't think a day goes by when I don't run into a former student here in Santa Barbara. So I'm, I must have taught probably, you know, 10 or 20,000 people in my life, um, maybe more. You know, I'm a people person and English as a second language is, that is, I think the funnest subject you can possibly teach. Um, I was a theater arts major at UCLA and always thought I would go for a career in the theater, but I, after I graduated from UCLA, I, I joined the Peace Corps and I went to West Africa and was trained to teach English as a foreign language. And I thought, hmm, gee, do I get a master's in ESL and have my passport to traveling the world and a paycheck, or do I try to get a master's in theater and maybe not work much and have to be a waitress. So, so I went with the master's in, in TESOL. It's been a fabulous career. Um, I've been at it for 38 years, full-time, nonstop. I never took a sabbatical. Um, and I believe in um, giving the next generation a shot at it. So from my students, I always tell my students, you know, you're my heroes. Um, because I don't know that I could have done what, what you could have done, that you could have left a beloved country, you know, to save your family or to try to get some opportunities for your kids that you could not have. And um, so, yeah, legacy, um, I don't have a legacy really, but boy, I have a great appreciation for my 25 years at Santa Barbara City College. So I feel like I began my time at City College in a great era and I'm, I'm ending my career here in a, in, a, in a wonderful era. And I guess lastly, I'm real hopeful with the younger generation, um, seeing all the changes on our campus. We've really gone green, which is wonderful. Recycling everywhere. We have the uh, solar panels up and uh, conserving energy and no more styrofoam in the cafeteria. Little things like that, I guess. You just have to stop and think, wow, where were we 20 years ago? City College's job is to, you know, bring people together to make a make a more fair and just world for us all. Yeah, I'm I've I'm just really grateful. I've had a I've had a wonderful career.